What is up, fisher people? Spring has sprung, and the walleyes are on the run. First hookup of the day. And there we go. That's going to make a beautiful fish taco. <laughs> Hello to the post spawn bite, baby. Oh, there's a bite. Yeah, got him. Now he's on. Got him. Right by the boat. Right by the boat. Another good fish. It gets them going for sure. Cause boy, you know, 18, 17, and fat. But when the wind's going, just a little frustrating to try to get on it when it's this windy. There's the second fish. Decent one too. Decent one. Not great, but good. Dragging the jig along the bottom to get bit. It's a fish though. It'll eat. When it comes to the migration on the system, there's kind of three types of fish. There's the strict river fish, the fish that just live in the river all year long, spawn in the river, that's their home. Then there's the strict lake fish, which live in the lake parts of the reservoir. They spawn there and they live basically in that same region all year long. But then there's also the migratory fish, which live in the lake, but then migrate all the way up and spawn in the river and make super long runs. So when this migration starts, once they've laid their eggs, the water starts to warm up, maybe mid 50s, 60 degrees, they start traveling down sometimes 100 plus miles and then you got your local resident. Thought I had a hit there. You got your local resident fish on the lake, but you also got the migratory fish in the area, which is kind of a kicker. So you got a little bit of both. And if you can get on those migrations of fish, you got a lot of fish in a small area and a lot better chance of catching them. There we go. This feels like a good one too. Oh, this has got weight. This is a good fish. Oh, I just saw it. Ha ha ha. It's a good walleye. Good walleye. I can keep my wits about me. Fight the fish and get the net. Ugh. Wow. Wow, he's not that big, but he's just freaking feisty. Dang, dang fish, look at you go. Yeah, you're chubbo. Thanks for throwing the jig, appreciate that. I do. Not as big as I thought, but you know, 18, 17 and fat. Nice fish, nice fish. Back in the water you go. He was up pretty shallow, maybe six feet, a bit well. On the bluff stuff, 
normally this time of year I'm fishing more of that flat point gravelly stuff there's rocks down here though it's just flatter around bluff so it's steep on the shore but we're kind of in between the steep parts where it really falls off and I don't know he liked the spot so another fish similar spot Slightly different, but very similar. Just the gap between the next point. I know. It's not where you want to be. God, they're just fat. Holy cow. Still must be a lot of bait in the system this year. They are all just total chunkers. Only like 16 inches, but oh my goodness, the girth on that for a 15 to 16 inch fish. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I moved to a spot a little out of the wind because the wind was getting to be a pain and the fish there kind of went quiet. Ate my lunch here, saw a fish on the side scan, decided, hey, let's catch these. That's proving to be difficult. Oh, there's another bite. Now he's on. Is he gonna stay on? It is a walleye, it's a little one. Are they all walleyes? Because, boy, they just did not want to stay on. There's a ton of little fish in here, though. I mean, that's a nice eater. That's a nice 14 fat walleye. That's what they all are. I'll keep sticking it out. I'll see if I can hammer these little guys. It's been four casts in a row so far, so let's just go for five. And try to keep number five on like the last one. This is intriguing me now. If there's walleyes in here, there should be some nicer ones too. <laughs> Caw! I don't know. I'm just feeding fish at this point. Another one on. Feels like he's staying on. Another little, little walleye. I think they're all just super little guys. This one might stay on. And it might have a little more size. That's a walleye. That's got a little more meat. That's more in the 15. Boy, it's just super hard for whatever reason to keep these guys on. They're just nipping it. But they're kind of little. So, all right. We had a good rest out of the wind. So I'm gonna try to stay out of the wind, but I'm gonna try to find a different spot. Some slightly bigger fish. Feels like a better fish. I can get this angle without completely botching my fish job. Not a lot better, but. Every spot I go to has got a lot of juvies now. Post spawn. The juveniles. But they're so fast. <laughs> There's just all the fish here. I mean, they're always healthy at sock, but this year they're just chobos. Wow, okay. A little tip for fishing these windy days too. 
closer you can keep your line to the water to let less wind pick it up is a good thing. It winds up leading to like more sideways hook sets, but ideally the other thing to do is cast straight downwind. But even then today, it's just flapping the line so much. It's like the closer you keep it to the water, keep more of the line in the water, the better off you are. Right after the cast, down it goes. Keep the line straight. I'm not doing much of a jig pop, I'm just kind of crawling it along the bottom. So I gotta be able to keep that tension on it to feel if I got a bite or not. Oh, there's a bite. Yeah, got him, got him. That's a better fish. He's fighting good. Better fish, I like it. I get that net. The net's been up front for a while. Been up front for a while. Oh, stuck in the mic. Stuck in the mic cord. So many things going on here. Wind can make your day a living hell. But it can be worth it. If you stick it out, have some patience and give yourself a little bit of grace. Because things are gonna go wrong. But sometimes they go incredibly right. And uh, we're getting we're getting a lot of action today. It's fun, it's jig pitching, it's good stuff. It's just a little frustrating to try to get on it when it's this windy. That would be a great, I mean, that's a perfect 18 inch eater fish. A limit of those makes anybody happy. Hello wind. Hello wind. It'll be all right, we'll catch fish, don't worry. Right by the boat, right by the boat, another good fish. The wind brings out the fish, that's the other thing. Like, I know this sucks, but wind brings out nice fish. Good fish like a little bit of wind. It gets them going, for sure. Which is another reason to stick it out when the wind does blow. Those dead calm days are tough fishing days. But when the wind's going, you can get a nice lot of fish in a couple good spots. Whew, it's getting stupid windy out here. Stupid windy and a stupid good bite, dang it. I can't leave. I can't do it. Another thing too about fishing the calm side, even if it doesn't have the same chop as the windy side, if you can find little spots like this where the wind isn't blowing directly into shore but it's just kind of sweeping into shore, it still mixes things up and it still creates some current coming down the shoreline. And that's why these fish are on this spot, I think, because there's a little current. And obviously there's probably bait and stuff like that here too. And the windy side today would just be, I mean, this morning it was fine, now it's just no way, no chance. So the calm side will work if you can find these little spots that have a little bit of movement to the water a little bit of dirtiness to the water and it's not completely flat and dead and i was hoping to get three casts in a row there but i don't know if it's going to happen i'll let you in on a little trick like sometimes i just throw out a cast and talk like that like the last time hoping that as i'm talking i get a bite and then you get a nice little hook set surprise along with your long soliloquy about whatever it is, fishing technique or location. But it didn't happen that time. When the wind is blowing, you also, the fish aren't gonna be quite as boat skittish. There's a 
lot of chaos going on and they might not even notice your boat at that point. There's fish on the side scan. Let's get them to bite, huh? Let's go. It was darn near every cast, the first three. Now you're being lazy. Fish. There it is. <laughs> oh, too funny. And it got off. <laughs> it was about a 15 inch walleye. Shoot. Well, it kind of worked. This might be our last fish today because this wind's getting out of control, honestly. It's getting silly. And it's another little juvie. But he chomped it. He chomped it like a champ. Fish. Pooping in my boat. Well, it's windy, but we hammered some fish today. The post fun bite is definitely good, especially when it's not flat, freaking calm. This is a little much, but it's good. I will see you another day. Hopefully a slightly calmer day, but not flat, calm, ugly, gross. And if you haven't already subscribed, consider doing that. You get to see more stuff like this and if you like the video, give it the old thumb. And, uh, oh, yeah, I'm gonna need a cold shower and uh, a couch and a lot of water. But it was fun. It was fun. See you, fisher people. <laughs>